みなさんこんにちは私はエミですお好み屋のビデオにようこそあのー、12月7日から、えー、12日まで展示会をしますアーティストを紹介しますね Hola, my name is Emi and I'm the creator of EcoArt. I'm a Colombian Japanese artist living in the beautiful land of Aotearoa or New Zealand. Join me in my blog and YouTube channel where I will share with you my love of creating clay art pieces, DIY products, and being a mom of two while having my own business. Masako Styles is a Japanese artist illustrator based in Wellington. She has learned digital art in San Diego and has continued to create digital art as well as traditional art since then. After moving to Wellington, she was much inspired by the Windy City and created the first Windy Whaley Girl illustration around 2016. She has been creating the series of Windy Whaley Girl and Boy illustrations since then. She also loves drawing plants. Go to her website www.masakostyles.com and you can also find her Facebook and Instagram. Second, Takako from the Mekin. Takako is from Tokyo and moved to Wellington in 2011. She started making origami earrings in 2016. All of the origami earrings are folded by her with Japanese chiyogami paper, which is Thicker and softer than standard paper. The earrings are coated with varnish several times to give them a shiny touch. She's also a Japanese language te teacher, so if you want to study Japanese, contact her. Third, Atsuko. Atsuko is from Iwate, Japan. She has learned doll making in Japan and cartoonage when living in Belgium for four years. She loves incorporating Japanese culture in her artwork, making kimono for her dolls. For this exhibition, she has reproduced the traditional Japanese tea ceremony in a miniature setting. The Japanese tea ceremony is a Japanese tradition steeped in history. It is a ceremonial way of preparing and drinking matcha tea, typically in a tra traditional tea room with. Tatami floor. Beyond just serving and receiving tea, one of the main purposes of the tea ceremony is for the guests to enjoy the hospitality of the host in an atmosphere distinct from the fast pace of everyday life. Cartoonish or decorative box making, a craft which originated in France in the mid 19th century. Where fabric was used to decorate fill or perfume boxes. She enjoys using old kimono fabric to decorate the various boxes' shapes. 4. Hana from Hanable and Saize Upcycle Japanese Vintage. Hana is a sewist from Osaka, Japan. She moved to Wellington, New Zealand 20 years ago. Her passion is to upcycle gorgeous kimono to give it another life in a modern clothing form. Her grandmother, who was a kimono seamstress, gave her inspiration. That is why her kimono line is called Saizei Reborn. Her craft is all about upcycling and sustainability. She also has another clothing line called Hanable, which is hand handicraft. Japanese style chic clothing one by one using natural fabric including linen, cotton, and merino wool. Her style is simple and elegant. And lastly, myself from Echo Art. I'm Amy and I was born and raised in Medellin, Colombia by my Japanese mother and Colombian father. And since college, I loved making art pieces with colored clay. Once I arrived to New Zealand in 2015, I decided to create my own business called EcoArt, which comes from the initials of my name Amy, Cristina, Londonio, Oikawa. I make lots of pieces related to the New Zealand nature, such as birds, flowers, and landscapes. 
Since I had my first daughter and became pregnant of my already 7 month old baby boy, I became so passionate about maternity art, which I will be exhibiting this for this coming event. I will be showcasing my new series of mobile clay art and up here I will link the video of how I made my first one. Also I will show my reusable greeting cards that I have printed and designed here in Wellington using my past clay art pieces images on them. My new downloadable prints and also this matching necklace and earrings that I'm wearing right now which is one of a kind. If you wish all the way here, oh my god, thanks so much. <laughs> if you think there's someone that would love to be part of this event, please like and share it uh, so we can meet in December. Asobe ni kite nihongo hanashimashou.